because we're worried about uh, supply chains and delays at the border, um, a lot of the, the bigger companies at the top of the supply chain are asking their suppliers to carry one month's worth of stock yeah. at their cost and to warehouse it near their customer at their own cost. You know, we're a sector that's growing by 10% a year in terms of global demand for new aircraft. To add in another, you know, one twelve, eight percent, ten percent in terms of increased production, especially for SMEs, is really difficult. But that's the requirement, and to get that in place by March 29th, 2019. The other thing is, um, I mentioned that you know, aircraft have to be certified as safe to fly. The designs for a new engine, the parts, the way you put it together, that's done all, all done out of the European Aviation Safety Agency. If we leave without a deal. You can't continue to do that from the UK. So companies are setting up operations in the EU27 to do design approvals, to do production approvals for, for aircraft and aircraft parts. Um, the, the, the last thing, I guess, that companies are doing that I'll mention um, is nothing, which is actually <laughs> the really worrying bit, especially for the small companies. Because the big companies can throw money and teams, and they've had task forces handling Brexit for ages. Problem is the small guys that don't have it and tend to only deal with what's right in front of them. And they don't have enough resources. They don't, have, they, don't have, they don't know enough to actually begin to plan for Brexit. And I go around the country and I talk to, talk to groups of companies, and every time I ask them, well, how many are you preparing for Brexit, I get maybe three, five, at best 10% of the SMEs. Mm. Nine months away, none of them are preparing for Brexit. And I think that's, that's the thing that's got us worried. 